Hi, my name is Andrea Heschler. I'm the co-founder and the head chef at the Nook. We opened Nook um, about six years ago. We were there um, during the COVID times, we closed down. So we moved, my husband and I moved to Nanyuki and we decided to open the Nook here. We're almost about a year and five months old now. Yeah. Well, I have PCOD, so I have very irregular periods. And so sometimes, um, you know, I'd get them up to twice or three times a month. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, from my own struggles. And I've been, you know, in the same positions where I've been quite stuck and didn't know what to do. And, you know, it can be a bit embarrassing. You don't know who to ask. Sometimes you, you wouldn't find a woman in the toilet to ask for one. So yeah. Okay, so the pad campaign started in Nook, in Nairobi. Um, I felt like sometimes women, you know, sometimes you're unprepared if you have, you know, a condition like I have myself. Um, you can be caught off guard and can you imagine going to a restaurant or you're on a date or something and you don't have it available you know to you or um, you don't have anyone you can ask for maybe you're shy so um, it came actually from my own personal experiences and stories so I decided to uh, put pads in toilets for women you know in case they should need it if they have an emergency or caught off guard yeah well, yes, very. Actually, some even actually come and thank us and say that they've been caught off guard and they're like, oh my God, I didn't know what to do. I'm so happy. And it's actually quite nice because um, sometimes you even go there and you find it filled up with more pads and pantalizers and tampons. So women actually even take theirs out of their bags and put it into the basket, which I find quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. At any given time, we'd have about 15. Um, it depends on the traffic, you know, when it's busy or you know, it really depends. Sometimes we'll fill it up twice a week, sometimes once a week. Sometimes, again, people donate. You know, you find women have filled them up as well. So it, it varies, really it does, yeah. But we always make sure there's a minimum of about 10 in there. Yeah. And surprising enough, the, the cleaners are men. And they actually come and say, you know, they add it to the shopping list, so we need more pads for the ladies' toilets and everything. So, which I find really nice as well. Yeah, that they're also taking, you know, responsibility to make sure that the, it's available for the women in the toilets, most of our staff, yeah. So we have uh, two toilets, so one toilet on this side and one toilet there. So we use about four to five packets a week, yeah. I think it's something that's very, very natural and I think more awareness should be, should be raised on it. Um, we have, um, a few months ago, we went to, you know, some villages around Nyanyuki and we'd see women in villages where we donated and also children's homes. So it's something that we also want to continue doing as well donating to women in villages and in children's homes, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think if people can do it and if people can afford it, I think it's something you should definitely do. Um, you know, again, these things happen. You're always caught off guard. You want your customers to be comfortable as well, you know? Just like you said, not just condoms. I mean, in bathrooms and stuff like that. And I, I, I wish that it would, some, it would be something that people would actually do. You know how, like, they give out free condoms and stuff? Like, if, you know, we could get like, you know, people to donate <laughs> more to children homes, to villages, you know.